Ryan, where do you stand right now with Greg Bird? Um, I would say, you know, in terms of depth charts, you got to have him behind Luke Boyd going into spring training. I mean, uh, uh, obviously frustrating year for him, therefore for us. Uh, obviously, it's a player's game, and, and this player has had multiple surgeries now on the ankle, and I think the second one obviously took its toll on him. And uh, maybe, you know, the operating surgeon has said, you know, a few times that, A, sometimes the stuff takes a lot longer to settle in, even though he's clean and healthy and he's, cleared the return to play mode it doesn't mean that you're going to get the same player in the first year back and and uh, so now the bank on that would be the reason why we didn't see the real bird although he was healthy and so uh so you know he, maybe it was a full rehab type season and he never got his, his full balance back and um you know but at the end of the day uh, because of all the things he, he's got an option he'll come in and compete with the, the void at first base um, he may be able to overtake him. The ceiling is still there. We still believe that, I mean, because we've seen it. We know what the talent level is. He's always been a great, talented player. Uh, the injury history has been a problem. And uh, and when healthy, we know he can be productive. But it appears that, you know, the health thing took him down a whole lo another level last year. And so with that said, he'll. that's the great thing about our game. He'll have a chance to get rebirth and, uh, and come in and compete again and, and uh, hopefully the narrative will, be narrative will be different next year for him and therefore for us. But, but you know, we're very thankful of the acquisition of Luke Boyd because he was a impact player for us. And, and so thankfully that happened. And because of it, um, you know, we had a little bit more security there than, than if we hadn't done that.